gaze into our future to witness a medical revolution. DNA sequencing, it's a profound game changer. Visionary technology now promises to end deadly diseases and gives us the key to immortality itself. We knew that there was a way to intervene with aging at the genetic level. DNA can absolutely help feed and heal this world across the board. Spectacular new discoveries are revealing the true power of our genes. This is DNA, the next wave. Meet Dr. Joseph Chang. As a chief scientist of a privately funded lab, he's dedicated his life to nutritional intervention for the war on aging. What we are trying to see now is whether we can actually slow down the aging process in such a way so that these age-related diseases don't happen early on. We are trying to delay the onset of these diseases as much as possible. In these commercial labs, Dr. Chang is searching for a way his company can restore our bodies to a more youthful setting. Through our scientific studies and to our research, we are beginning to understand there are certain groups of genes that are very important in aging. Instead of just talking about groups of genes, we thought by coining a term such as youth gene clusters, it would give a better definition of what we're trying to do in our research. Within the clusters, he is looking for genes that regulate aging. If you somehow change the gene expression profile of youth gene clusters, it has either a positive or a negative impact on biological aging. He becomes interested in youth gene clusters related to mitochondria, tiny structures in our cells. These are miniature motors that fuel our bodies, maintaining our energy levels from cradle to grave. Dr. Richard Weindruck and Dr. Thomas Prola are using advances in gene expression profiling to discover how nutrients affect aging at a genetic level. There is not a lot of difference from the control. So I would be surprised if there is much of an aging. Dietary restriction has been demonstrated to produce a change in gene expression in a variety of species. When food is scarce, our bodies concentrate on conservation and become more efficient. Dr. Weindruck believes that the key to aging well lies directly in what we eat. Caloric restriction seems to be the most potent dietary intervention to slow not only aging, but really in the quality of life. Dr. Weindruck wants to conduct a long-term study on the effects of caloric restriction on gene expression in humans. But time's not on his side. This experiment would literally take a lifetime. His next best option is our cousin species with whom we share a similar genetic makeup, monkeys. After two decades of research, the results are stunning. The diet-controlled monkeys are healthier and living up to 20% longer. Results show that the caloric-restricted monkeys have an astonishing three-fold decrease in age-related diseases. It's through gene expression profiling that scientists can determine how caloric restriction has improved the primate's aging. The effects of caloric restriction are clearly dramatic. Finding that these effects occur in primates and therefore most likely also occur in humans is really a major breakthrough. As we map out our future, we are now discovering genes do not govern our fate. The future is DNA.